Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Group Policy Manager on Windows 11 Home because that's a feature that only comes with Windows 11 Pro and this should work for uh, Windows 10 Home too if you want to try it on that as well. So if you don't know what the Group Policy Manager is, uh, it's this guy here where you could you know, do configurations, uh, computer configurations and user configurations and all kinds of different things. All these control panel settings and desktop settings, you know, remove computer icons, hide this property, network settings, shared folder settings, start menu settings, you know, locking the taskbar, prevent this, add this, you know, just tons and tons of stuff you could do. But if you try and run it on Windows 11 Home, it'll say it can't be found, but there is a little utility you could download to enable this feature on Windows 11 Home. Okay, so on this computer, so let's just to prove what we got going here, this is Windows 11 Pro and you saw the Group Policy Editor. So on this computer here, we got Windows 11 Home, just so we know, you know we're on the same page here. So what I did was download this little file here. I'll put a link in the description. So this is a batch file. So one thing I will say, um, back up your system first. You never know what you're getting. You could, um, you could look at it. I opened it in Notepad so you could see exactly what it's going to do before you run it, if this makes sense to you. So you know it's going to happen, but you know still always back up your system where you're going to run some kind of batch file like this that you downloaded off the internet. So I'm not, I'm not going to be responsible for what it does. So you know I did it on this computer because it's a VM, and if it blows it up, I don't care. So it's up to you. So I've already ran it on this computer, but I'll run it again just so you could see the process here. Assuming it'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to run it as administrator. So then I'll go through this list here and adding packages. So this will. Take a minute, so I might have to fast forward it a little bit. Okay, so when it's done, just press any key to continue to get out of it. And then you could just go start and run and just type the same thing you would in Pro, GP edit. Make sure when you're typing it, you're not going to run the same batch file again if it brings it up in your history. GP edit dot dot msc and then you've got the Microsoft console here and then you'll notice we have the same looking interface here with the same tools as we do in the Pro bring this back up and you should probably reboot your computer after running it just to make sure all the policies get refreshed and I also remember reading that some of these might not quite work as well or at all compared to the pro version maybe that's because it's you know still pro versus home so you should be able to get you know at least some functionality with this uh, editor compared to you know nothing at all so I guess it's worth a shot if you really like to go in here and edit the policies so once again I'll put a link in there download the batch file run it reboot and then run gpedit.msc and see how it works for you and back up your computer first all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe